Hey, it's your boy Jim CV, man. And welcome back to the channel, man. It's another video about the setup. And I just got one question to ask today. What the freak is wrong with Earl Gotti, man? What's going on with this guy, man? So listen, we're listening back at him, different things like that in these interviews, and he seems to want to see Ashanti lose. Um, so they had to talk about giving him the mat, giving the masters back and things like that. And he's like, what am I going to do that for? If I do that, then I'm not going to have anything, but you didn't necessarily create the art. You had a hand in it and I get it. They signed the deal. You own the masters, you know, this, that, and dirt, but the part that got me is when you said, or oh, well, when everybody said, and I quote, uh, yeah, Ja got a seven figure check for that. You know, when I sold the catalog and this, that, that, and the third, uh, yeah, but Ja got, Ja got, so you only cared about Ja Rule, which is you still throwing shade at Ashanti. Are you mad that she doesn't have any affinity for you anymore, or are you upset that? Uh, she's moved on with somebody else, right? And the time that y'all were dealing, I believe this man had a wife. So at the end of the day, like, what are you oh, so upset for? I mean, I get it, hurt people, hurt people, but that's not the way to go about it. Then another thing that got me in this interview was your, your darts at Dame Dash. Now, get it, I get it. Dame is not the most likable guy. Dame is not, you know, Dame is not a laid back, chill guy. You know, somebody who just, just be around, calm and mind their business. Dame is very outspoken, such as Irv is outspoken. But my thing is this, Dame, and Jay may, may not have needed Dame the whole way through. But to get a start and to get herself out there, they need the, none of them would be anything without each other. Let's call it spade to spade. Dame don't get to where Dame was without Jay, and Jay don't get to where Jay was without Dame. And neither of them two don't get nowhere without Biggs because Biggs put up most of the money from what I understand, from what, how the story goes. So without them doing what they did, you don't get this the same result. Um, but after a while, you may be right. Jay didn't need him, but Jay never needed him to be the artist that Jay was. He just needed people who believed and that was going to help him out. You did it too. You helped him out too, so don't. It's just like shot at the shot. Now, the thing I don't like about Dame, Dame continuously takes shots to Jay-Z or Kelly, whoever he can. Irv continues to take shots at Ashanti, Dame, Nelly, or whoever else. You, you you guys are taking shots because y'all are upset and bitter at, at certain people. And instead of saying, oh, I'm upset with this dude, then you're going to sit there and you're just going to keep spewing negativity in every one of your interviews. The point of an interview is to worry about you. Tell the interviewee, or the interviewee is to tell the interviewer what they have going on. A point of an interview is to get information out there about yourself. Then, another thing I like about Herb Gotti's interview, um, it's a shot at Noah's. Oh, he was scared. He was, yo, listen, if you got millions of dollars, right, why show up to the hood? We, seen, we see the results of this all the time. You're a millionaire, you got a bunch of chains on, you got bread, you know, you got the the baddest car out there, and you continue to pull up in a neighborhood where they might not even got twenty dollars together, and you want to sit there and splurge, and you say, "Oh, I'm motivating the hood." And really, you're not motivating the hood. What you're doing is, you are flexing. You flexing on people who don't have anything. That doesn't make sense. So, no, is right not to pull up in the middle. of Baltimore where there's wolves at or any other in the city where there's wolves at looking like a a steak you know I mean looking like fresh cattle you just don't do it and my thing with that is the need to be 
hood or associate with the hood or the gangster. What you have to realize is once you get to a certain point, you must move on from where you are, from where you were. Okay? If you're not selling drugs no more, why you hang around drug dealers? If you're not, if you live in the suburbs and got two jobs, why are you still hanging in the inner city where on the corner with the rest of the guys? You have them, if you got a family at home, you got three, four kids, why are you hanging out in the hood? Not if it makes sense. So my thing with that is, I saw Noah's point. I don't really see the need to do that. Yeah, I want to show the hood love. Yeah, I want to give back. But I want to do it in a different way. Just pulling up with a bunch of people, with fans, it's going to look like you using the hood and the hood's culture to further your own agenda and that will go to gain street credit and that doesn't make sense so yeah of course no it was smart not to do so but for you to come back in an interview 20 years later and judge him for it it's like ah why you do that what's the point of that so maybe you, it's another issue you have with it and my whole thing with that is it's a bunch of stuff that you said in these interviews about different people who you used to rock with I don't understand it. Yeah, Dane might have took the first shot. Oh, every time I get something to hurry, fuck it up. Maybe y'all two gentlemen never liked each other. Maybe y'all need to talk. I just don't understand it. I mean, Irv be tripping, man. Irv is out here tripping. And then the title of his video is, Damn, dog, why Irv keep tripping? But you know what, man? It is what it is. He did what he did. People do what they do, man. Jim you know, when out. people talk about the masses, just to touch on this for one second. Yes. And uh, like, oh, you should give your artists, you know, their masters. No, because that's how I make my money. Like Ja Ashanti, millions of dollars they make every year. Yeah, I don't get a dime of that. To my show money. Yeah. Okay. I don't get one one fucking penny of that. All right. So the only thing that I have that I could sell to get me a check is those masters. And you want to take that from me? But do they get pieced off after you sell them? Or? I piece Ja off. Ja got a seven-figure check. When I sold, Ja got a seven-figure check.